Well, one of the things I have on the wall in my house is a lot of medieval and renaissance pictures. Here's one of Florence. This is the place where the renaissance really kicked off. It's where people became rich in banking and gold and the first international bankers in the world. And they had the money to support the arts. There's some medieval music again we've talked about. And here is Lorenzo the Magnificent, one of the most famous Renaissance dukes in Italy. He really sponsored the arts and music and uh, it's where the Renaissance really took off. These wealthy Renaissance dukes would show off to each other using amazing art and music. Let's go and have a look at some palaces in a place called Mantua. This is Palace Tay, built in 1525. This is the most amazing room. It's a cyclops. It's the story of love. In the Renaissance, they took many inspirations from the ancient legends. This is the fall of the giants, being cast down by Zeus. Hopefully you can see from all these amazing pictures, the Renaissance is a time of great explosion of art. And the princes that used this art, it was all about power and showing off that they had a better palace than their neighbour. It's a flying drone. Make sure you look up what a musical drone is in another video. These Renaissance palaces and towns of the 1500s was where music really kicked off and became what we sort of know a little more of the instruments today. You can still see some instruments in towns like this. They have musical museums in a place called Bologna where you can still see instruments five or six hundred years old. Here's a collection of lutes and early printed music. The Renaissance was also an explosion of ideas in science and its discoveries and technology Libraries were set up in early universities. Bologna had one of the first universities in the Renaissance. Here's a room showing how the human body worked. 